Virginia was an essential state when it came to ratifying the Constitution because of the wealth that was generated from the large plantations that were common in the South. Massachusetts was also a crucial state because of the Boston Port. This port generated a lot of money and many people there engaged in trade or merchants. In Massachusetts, there is a disagreement over whether or not to sign the Constitution. Mercy Otis Warren and Samuel Adams were two colonists who had contradicting views on this issue. The Constitution will give people more rights and it will give the government the power to tax. How is the government being able to tax a good point out of the Constitution? Taxes pay for army, and army means protection for the people. Another convention is necessary. We need to revise the Constitution, fix any errors or unfair laws listed. What if it states something unjust? So basically you want to start from scratch. What is the use of having a Constitution when we're only going to write it over? The Constitution does not need to be revised. The people who wrote it surely knew what they were doing. It will ensure a strong central government and better the people's lives. Oh, Mr. Adams, you say you want a strong central government, yet you were a part of the Sons of Liberty who threw those tea crates into the water and who went against the powerful government of the British Parliament? Isn't that a bit hypocritical? I was fighting against the British government, not against the colonies. I only have the best in mind for the colonies, and creating a central government is in our best interest. If we create too strong of a government, it will turn into a monarchy. We would be giving too much power to one person. It's just not reliable. Of course it's reliable. The system of checks and balances will stop any single person from taking too much power. The Constitution will in every way improve society and the lives of the people in the colonies. In the end, Massachusetts voted to ratify the Constitution, but only on the terms that a Bill of Rights would be added. The vote was very close, 187 delegates voting for the Constitution, 168 voting against it. After the Massachusetts vote, Maryland ratified on April 2nd, followed by South Carolina on May 23rd. As the Virginia legislator debated the Constitution, the issue of a Bill of Rights became more prominent. The Virginia Convention took place in June of 1788. Edmund Randolph, governor of Virginia from 1786 to 88, declared that a Bill of Rights was not necessary for ratification, seeing as the system of checks and balances stopped the government from taking too much power, and that nothing in the Constitution allowed for the violation of people's freedom. He also argued that state governments already included a Bill of Rights in their state constitutions. Opposing Randolph was Patrick Henry, who insisted that a Bill of Rights must be added to the Constitution before it was ratified. He was one of many who were worried that creating a powerful central government would threaten people's freedom. Henry argued that not having a Bill of Rights in the Constitution showed just how far the Constitution was from the ideals of the American Revolution. However, as this debate was going on in Virginia, New Hampshire became the ninth state to ratify the Constitution. With nine votes, the Constitution had obtained enough support to be adopted. Virginia's vote still proved to be important, though, seeing as it had a large population and was very prosperous. Eventually, the Constitution was ratified by Virginia in a final vote of 89-79 to in 1788. The fight over the Constitution was not yet over, however. New York, a large and successful state, had still not ratified. Thank you.